absolutely Man. gorgeous Ziki. Woo! And now, of course, we got to introduce quite a few going. players, Call baby. We Ooh, got Ninja. a few Westerners Ooh. coming with us. Of course, we do Fortnite, we do it big. We brought some of our uh, more famous, yeah, some of our well-known fraggers. We got Mip. We brought along T. Let's not forget, Take of course, Margot. Tax winner, Kitty Blades. I mean, she is just, look at her. She's incredible. And then, of course, we've got who else? Yo Yo Kuna. And then Ninja. finally, of course, Nick A30. That's right, and I mean, just just look at the way they are being brought out. The energy is real. You can see from the shot here, this is where they're going to be playing at. Yo Yo, keep it up. Looks like he is ready to get down today. Man, I am absolutely stoked for what's going to happen. I mean, listen, my man, this is, again, this is just about the craziest event. We got today, all right? Can you know, I'll step up. And I was just going to say, for these guys, too. Look at, look at more gossip. This is, this is 3,000 people here together to watch. And also, did you want to see Augmented Reality? Because here it is, Augmented Reality Bus. That's right. It's time to hop into the first show match. And again, man, let's touch on this. We This is going to be completely different than anything we've seen before. We also have, you know, the Westerners coming to face off against all of North Korea. Some, I mean, literally, all, so many of North Korea's best. Yeah, yeah, so Korea is, is loaded up in here. Uh, here we have Mak Chan going in hot. And it uh, looks like he's going to be going for the divot. And he's going, actually, he's going for flow. He's trying to hit uh, retail row here. So for those of you guys curious about what happened with the battle bus there, it came from the southwest side all the way up to the northeastern side here. And this is round one where it's only solos. So these guys are all looking to, uh, you know, fend for themselves. Looks like we got a little bit of Wailing Woods action here as well. Holy, just looking at the map here, the amount of players trying to land at Wailing Woods. I see three, six, seven, eight players in the Wailing Woods area. You guys can't see it because obviously we're on this solo perspective here. But oh man, so here it is. Don't forget guys, we have some content creators in the mix. So there's gonna be, you know, some fun gameplay. It's, it should be a pretty, pretty fun time here. You know, so she's doing the, the nice jog around the, around the Whale Woods. Yeah, that's right. And we are over to uh, uh, Wolryang here, who has already got himself a Stormwing. All right, we've seen kind of what's going on. All right, he's already doing barrel rolls, trying to show us, show off. Okay, Showing listen. off them skills, those air skills. And so again, I mean, we're not too familiar with what the Korean meta is like. So now we're gonna we're gonna kind of learn together. We're gonna see what they like to do. I mean, and if I'm being honest, the, the action feed's popping off, right? The, yeah. the, the feed on the side, you see what's going down. Players are definitely, you know, getting popped left and right. And I don't think, uh, well, obviously he doesn't know what he's flying himself into, but he is pretty much hovering over a couple of players right now. There's actually someone inside that paradise. Oh my gosh, the paradise area is loaded. Yeah. You can see from the map right there, there's about five players. But at the gas station as well, there's about two or three there. There's uh, two players in Westworld right now. So you you guys know who's in Westworld most likely right now. Tfue, uh, getting the battle. And young man looks like he's going for the heal right now. He's not going to swap over to the grappler. Oh, there is already shots going out onto this storm wing, trying to just disengage over the hill here. He's getting fired up by Tron here down below. And, you know, these guys are looking to break down those storm rings. You do not want to give anyone a free pass in the air at all. Here is Sparkle, which, uh, you know, rocking little OG Renegade Raider. So, you know, for a fact, this man is about to bring it. And he's in Paradise Palms. He's looking for some action. You see a little bit of uh, his uh, precision as far as his speed and, and building goes. And that's a pump shotgun. You got to love the pump shotgun. I mean, look at this loadout, the minis. We've got the Chug Jug. We've got the Med Kit. And old, I mean, he's got quite a bit of utility. Watch the mats, though. Kind of low. Needs to take a little bit of time to farm there. He's actually getting oh. shot at from the right-hand side. No, it's Evermore who's going to go down by a racer. He's holding down the hotel right there. So, unfortunately, we did miss a little bit of the action right there. But uh, Sparkle looking to get his loot together. You see there in the action feed, Aim Hero. Someone we got to actually meet and talk to to find found himself an elimination too. And I mean Paradise Man, this is looking pretty heated right now. Man, if I had a loadout like this, I would feel so confident. AR, Palm Shock, and SMG. It is the three-pack combo here. And uh, you can see young man looking to pre-aim that crosshair down the alleyway so that Eraser can rotate right into it. And take a look at the 
eliminations right now. It's Medusa who's in the lead. Poong sang A right there, right behind him with two limbs as well. And Eraser has one who Eraser's right down below him. And now Sparkle's the first shot. Far. That was going to be first shot accuracy to take a little bit of shield off of Eraser. He's going to heal out in the open. Kind of a risky move. He obviously doesn't realize there's another player super close by. And that's the thing, man. Is so Eraser is, is now kind of like in this weird spot where he's like, I want to continue to farm. I want to just keep doing the. I mean, look at the mats. They're super low. And now they're trying to get to get things together. And so here's Eraser moving around left and right. And we have ourselves an actual dogfight going on. These guys are bringing it to oh. each other. That is damage. The Adele to him, and they're going head to head. Oh, he's going to jump oh, out. He tried. he tried to take it. Wow, that was absolutely cheeky. Didn't quite work out. <laughs> now we're over at Akao. And I believe Akao actually joined us for the Pro-Am as well, representing Korea. So it's actually really cool to kind of be on his turn, you know, get them on. Oh, those are game. whites. Dodges a grenade right here. He's fully shielded up. You know he's about to bring it to square. And he is damaging that tree so that he can open up his line of sight. He's got to be really careful. Only two, one mag in his AR and one in the first. He's got to be super careful how he approaches this fight. Because he's actually surrounded. You can tell in the top He's right. going off on every single player. That player over there to his left-hand side only has a pistol. So he's got to make a big move right now. And I think he wants to chase the one down that he hit for Whites for sure. So Jung's on the run here, and it's about it's up to a cow who's going to hunt him down, getting some resources in the process as well. Kind of sucks that he lost his Storm Ring early on. Yeah. I mean, that was, uh, you know, he was trying to go for plays, but then immediately a dogfight breaks out, and then he just opts to bail. And now he is off in a build fight. Look at this build, though. Talk about crank those 90s. Jung trying to keep up, but a cow is like, no, 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 friend. I would like the high ground now. Oh, okay. Takes fall damage right there. Jung Ryuk hidden behind the wall. He's going to go for the wall replacement. Their wall replacement was successful. Looking to make the quick edit, but he's got to be careful because he is expecting it. So I was back to the pump shotgun. Doesn't quite land it here. Oh, he did damage for whites there. Not quite enough. It looked like about a 59. And you saw a cow playing with that edit. He kind of kept faking it because the other player knew. He was like, you're going to have to edit. Nope, now, now, now. And then a, a cow goes in for the play. And it's actually someone who's coming in for the third party. It's Somo Zhang, who's over on the left-hand side, up in a build as well. Looking to try and take this. And it's a storm wing that's going to successfully wreck that one right there. And it's actually, no, Somo who catches the, uh, the Elim instead. There's a storm wing, jumps in. Wait, what, in what the are world? you doing? A cow jumps on It's going down. <laughs> this is exactly what is happening. He's got no. a build and he can't. Envy comes in to wrap that up. Poong Sange comes in and that's a leave him. That's three eliminations for Poong Sange. Suddenly it just takes that. And we have both to, to Gabriel, who's now in uh, Salty Springs. Dude, that was almost that was mad. Impossible to keep up with. I, I mean, didn't. I did not expect the Stormwing to suddenly come crashing into that build fight. And then suddenly a cow's like hops out, ends up in the Stormwing. He's like, uh, uh, I need to bail. I need to get out. I, I like what he attempted to do though. That's like a counter, right? You see someone fly a Stormwing into you. It's a little reckless if you can get on the uh, faster seat. And it looks like we got another battle going on here. Gabriel's gonna land some uh, some shots for Blues here. So a shield. But he has no shotgun. Yeah, he's not. He does have that, that six shooter there, but he's got he's got the heavy arm to work with, right? He does have these grenade launchers, and it works. He's got that uh, port of fortress to fall back on if he needs all that cover. Yeah, Gabriel here eating some storm. We like to call it probably, you know, a little risky. Now building up to kind of hover over here. He's looking to get this launch back going. He doesn't want to be in the storm for too long. Hopefully, he does not get chipped down as he's making this rotation. But if he lands at this storm line here, obviously he'll be able to push this player Ooh. out to the storm, and that's going to be one hit right there. It takes all of his shield. It's actually a headshot. Seung Ho here, landing shots when it counts, and now Gabriel's on the back foot. Yeah, this have angle shield. is not good. Seung Ho has the natural high ground here. He doesn't have a shotgun to push this. Ooh. It's a hand cannon from Seung Ho. That was massive. That was a headshot. That player is done so, and now we're over to KO Duty, who's got himself a Stormwing. Just looking to isolate some builds right now. Bang, Doll versus Flash. Oh! Yeah, Flash is going to put him down with that one, two, pretty much pack a punch combo right there. Shotgun followed by the SMG. Here we have Rabbit going with the roof replacement. It's going to fall into a trap. a trap. Oh, my. 
Milfie pulls it off with the clever trap right below him. Kind of walks right into there. And now that is three eliminations for him. And going over to the full-on kind of world look here. It's Envy who's leading with four eliminations. That's right, man. Four currently, but right behind Jag, Medusa, and Milfy there. And I mean, we're already down to 40 players, you know Monster. Westerners on there. I know. Boon Zhang. Boon Zhang locking it up. And it's Yo-Yo keep it up. You just pointed oh, out no. a Westerner, and Yo-Yo is down. Yo-Yo just Cast got curse. so clapped right there. But that is what happens when you push a player hyper aggressively and he is waiting. So Hoon Zhang looking to retreat back to that storm and get on out of here. Now we're jumping over to Noah. These guys are bringing it. Yeah, Noah's super low there with 11 HP. He's got to watch that fall damage. Ghoul is down below, bouncing off the green. Oh no, that grenade's yeah. actually gonna ricochet into his own build. Oh. Unfortunately, he cannot afford to take any fall damage right now. He's rocking two shotguns, probably not by choice, but he does have an upgraded pump here. That if I'm him, him I get out of here. I don't want to be in, in between this crossfire of Joker and the pressure of uh, Cool Tongue, who's in front of him here. He's got to smack yeah. this rotation right here. So good play by him, uh, recognizing that the enemy in front of him did decide to retreat. And it looks like Whalen Woods is actually flooded right now. 38 players lost. Wait, just know I hear it. There's a storm wing overhead. You can saw, you see he like kind of ducks behind the trees. No, you know what? I hear a storm wing. I'm good. These storm wings are savage. They are coming in. You, see, you don't see them, you know, in, in, in the North American Sea very often kind of just sitting there, right? If yeah, they're always are, in use. We were holding them. These guys are using them. They're dive bombing players. And he's bringing it even oh. without heals. He doesn't care. He beams. Him down now, looking to rotate. He's still hunting down Ghoul Tong here. That was crazy. If Noah had just kept lasering him down, he would have gotten that, that elimination. But now we are over to Tifu, who has one elimination and is looking to pick up some heavy resources right now. So he's in the middle of Tomato Temple getting his farm on. I mean, look at his loadout, dude. I mean, he's ready to play. He's like, look, I, such a great loadout. I have to do everything I can to be make sure that I'm, I'm ready to take engagement. We've got the AR, the SMG. The, the legendary bomb. Oh, no, and look who's right next by, or right near doors. Trona, Trona probably hears all this farm. He's like, you know what? I'm going to just keep on rotating out. Look at all the bases being put up right now. It's NV and Tiangho over to the left hand side here. He's got to be careful. Trona going with a very risky no build rotation, but he manages to pull it off. He gets his farm on. And this here's is jumping over to Myth. He's in, uh, in an engagement. He's the high ground. He's retaking it here with a clever. Jump over to the side, it's a 100, follows up the AR. Nicely done. That was crazy. Hoon Zhang is down. Myth just built all over him. He's got to be careful, though, with the amount of storm wings in the air here. Yeah, you don't want to make yourself a target when there's a storm wing <laughs> close by. Oh, this is here. boiling down, so we already have at least two of our favorites still alive. Xiang Ho here, still alive as well. One elimination, that hand cannon will definitely break builds. He's got to be extremely careful. Oh, but Sing had the, uh, the heavy sniper and the hand cannon. Yeah, so it's actually kind of interesting what's going on here. Siang Ho is putting pressure on Myth. Usak is here now pressuring Siang Ho, and he needs this one elimination, so he is hunting for it. Oh, Oscar Roscar almost takes some heavy fall damage from Fax Fox. He's putting pressure on Include, who's down below him right now. Fax Fox over there, we saw there was uh, a little care package there. He actually landed on it, finds bandages. That's exactly what he needed. But Include is down below. Oscar here trying to just keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't get too far away. He hears the build going off. Oh, man, Include takes that high ground right here. Interestingly enough, those were roof panels, so he wasn't able to build on over that. That's his last 10 mediums right there. And now Include's got the high ground, utilizing that brick completely out of wood. He's got a boatload of ammunition here. He is not afraid to take this battle. Oscar Oscar no longer can uh, afford to take a long range battle. And it's Vax Box is coming back, sweeping in with the Storm Ring right there, looking to kind of disrupt this battle a little bit. Blue here, well, I mean, look at this mini map. We got players flying all the way around overhead, but that player gets beamed and uh, decides to leave. Includes like, I need to use this rip to go. I need to reposition. Yeah, it's a good call up for uh, for Oscar there to definitely use that rip to go. I mean, when you when you just don't have you know, medium bullets and stuff like that, and someone's rushing you, just kind of do it. And uh, Myth actually targets the wrong person there. If he would have just hit Oscaro, he would have noticed that that guy had no shields. It was just straight HP. 
I mean, look, this is what Myth does, right? Myth's got two eliminations, by the way. He does. He does. He's trying to claim that first place spot, all right? He's like, look, I, I need to do this. Oh! Someone oh just flying gosh. through. Ooh. Myth looking to destroy that quad right there. That eraser who comes flying on by, making a big rotation just past Myth. Myth, uh, Myth putting on some pressure right there. He's not careful. He will get a race. And a race is actually getting flanked by a Fax Fox who we just saw in the Storm Ring who ditched it, by the way. So now it's Fax Fox versus a racer going down. Myth Bit targeting game. all of the Storm Rings in the air. I like it. Gutsy play from him, but with 400 mediums, you might as well use that AR. Yeah, I mean, you want to keep the hand cannon. I mean, you don't need 82 hand cannon rounds, but I think he's just uh, looking to land a big shot. So. Ooh. We're now taking to the skies here. Our Mason. Locked in a dog fight. It's Duty here who destroys the Stormwing, but now is getting shot down here by Mei Song. Oh, they they go head to head. They're like, no, thank you. Please stay away. But immediately back on the trail of Stormwing. Is, oh, that's it. It's gone. Take 25 damage from the explosion of the aircraft now. Masanji looking to lad here, and it's Machan who's built up next to him, who also has a hand cannon. Look at the loadout here, though. I mean, we do have that gold heavy AR. We got the RPG. This loadout is actually Woo. really, really good. That's a quad launcher being pressured from Peter Pan on his left hand side. We're down to 27 players. So to his south, someone with a quad launcher. Myth now outside of the zone right here, just listening, seeing if he can bait in 525 KR. Probably looking to. Kind of looks like he's in his settings right now. I wonder if he had to fix something really quickly right there. There it is now seemingly bouncing back into it. Sang Ho still alive. We saw a little bit of him earlier today. One elimination on Sang Ho. And he's actually just on top of no tip you. A few people that are still left alive. One of them being Tifu, one of them being Myth. Don't worry guys, the western side is still representing. But now we're up high with Peter, who's actually on the uh, inside of the current safe circle. Myth just outside and 525 KR. Very far from the circle right now. Needs to start making rotations. Duty is still up top, though, in that storm wing, applying pressure where he can. All right, 25 players left. This is where the pace of the game really starts to change up here. And, uh, you know, we went from somewhat of like a public, you know, like, like a feel like a public lobby kind of opening to. Now competitive stance. People are looking to get their turn on, get their rotations on, and start blocking players out. We're boiling down to those actual competitive players we talked about. A little uh, edit maneuvers being used here. Sinho now looking to pressure Myth. He's building on right next to him. This is a little bit of a position a battle here. Myth is at the very outermost edge. Sinho now making it just inside Sinho. There's Myth looking for the hand cannon shot. He's gonna put pressure from behind. Almost lands when there's an edited wall to his left hand side. Gets a little lucky right there. He does crack in a little bit of chip damage. Hand cannon perfect. And uh, Sino actually has to keep pushing back because he's getting pushed by multiple players. It's time to pull out that grappler and get out of there. Those RPGs are not what you want. Especially it, with a player like Myth putting pressure too. Yeah, that was so much pressure coming out. But now Myth kind of has to get out of that safe uh, storm there. He gets ticked down for it, but all in all, he's gonna be okay. And I mean, Storm favors him here. Now he's, he's right there on the lower edge. Yeah, it was almost, you know, turning out to be a little bit dicey for him. Not anymore. 700 wood, 400 stone, 300 metal here. His loadout is booming. This is where you wanna be. Also, we did talk about it. He has the zone. So, TPU, uh, unfortunately, not with the zone. Neither does Milfi here. Milfi's gotta make a big move. He tries oh. to edit down just a little bit. Doesn't take any fall damage. That was a really fast edit, making his way back down to make sure he's not at that peak there to take damage. Yeah, I love I love how Tifu timed that rotation right there. He definitely decided to leave a little bit early, leaving those other players behind to, you know, battle for themselves. Here's Aim Hero making a free rotation. Myth not looking to the right direction. These other guys are in somewhat of a battle uh, between themselves there. A little too focused on one another. And Mufi going with the Grapple play into the launch pad to okay. rotate to the next zone. He's gonna land on top of Fax Fox here with Fax, no. no fear. Oh no, Fax Fox just barely gets out of there. Tifu gets destroyed. Oh, by Aim Hero. It's Aim Hero. And then look, Sinu, who was disengaged with it, turns around and takes down Aim Hero. So now we are in top 20. 
and that was a big shot coming in from that opening here. But Sanji now hiding underneath the roof, cone, and floorboard here, just looking to kind of get a better visual. He's got one eliminations. We're down to 18 players. This circle's getting nice and tight right now. What's gonna happen? Oh. He's still holding on to that tactical. A nice little supply drop, thank oh, you. Oh, Masaji actually makes the edit there to take the airdrop. I think Milk be kind of helps him out a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't like to see it, but sometimes that's Mistakes the way things go. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, in fact. We're over to Jag, who's looking very, very weak. 28 effective HP loadout. Very thin, Matt's not super great. Yeah, kind of crazy. A, a lot of the a lot of the loadouts we kind of jumped in. Unfortunately, people were just, you know, kind of lacking heals. So it doesn't matter who you eliminate at this point. Uh, you're probably not going to get much for us. So you got to be really careful. Myth catching a free rotation south right here. Oh, and Misaji has a, an actual rift to go. All right. So now here's the question: When do we utilize this? He's in the front of the pack as far as the storm goes. So you use it at the very last second. You let everyone battle their way, you know, kind of through you, and you just stick behind. So Myth oh. is going to take the rift to go. No, 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 no it's Myth actually is gone. Yeah, include beams down, Myth. And, and Myth was trying to get that rift to go, but it just wasn't fast enough. So that's it, man. All the Westerners are down just like that. Getting last. The Jag. Whoa! With the disgusting shot right there, taking out early morning. Hand cannon coming into play. And Jag's looking to catch himself another one. But it is. Jag's actually going to sneak up that Elim on Peter Pan there. And it gets just ripped to shreds by Ningdu, who uses the RPG at a close range. But he gets jumped on and he <laughs> gets beamed. <laughs> now it's a clue versus duty. We're down to our top 10 players here. Oh! Include going on a rampage here. Gets himself another one. That's going to be a full three eliminations for another point and top 10. And now he's got to make another rotation out of the storm. He does get ticked one time. He might be able to push everyone off the high ground. There's only three left. One up top, Mason. Sanji looking to hold the high ground. He does have an RPG. He just has to land one shot here, and this game is his. Legit with even, even the AR. Even the AR. That's it? That's one. He needs one more. Oh, looking to disengage from the high ground. That's a shotgun shot. He needs one oh, no. more. He bandages on accident. Milfie's it's Milfie versus Misanji. Is Milfie going to choke and hit the storm? Doesn't look like it. Shotgun is out. It's all about the one pump right here. One Who's shot. Get their shot. Gonna line it up. It's going to be Milfie. Unbelievable. Milfie coming up big there with that legendary pump. Makes it. I mean, he just turned the entire situation around. Nations are going to push you up first. Yep. That's right. Moving into nearing that top 10. 11 through 20. Let's take a look. So we know Myth made it pretty far there. But the question is, did he maybe make top 10? Did he not? Let's see. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, we're going off of Elims here, and Myth had three eliminations at the end. And not to mention, he, uh, he made it to the end game. He was, like, just there. I think he I was probably fit. got eliminated around, like, 15 rank. Yeah. So he's going to be in the top 10, I think, right here. We're about to see. I mean, we need we need someone at Myth in 10. 10 Play. That's a okay. top 10, man. GG's that's a top 10. Uh, that's fine. It's okay. We've got another game. But Milky here with four eliminations and a victory royale.